A flexible autonomy framework with a strong human-centric focus is being developed and evolved by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Advanced Projects Group. Various tiers of uncrewed aircraft will be able to fly with varying degrees of autonomy and cooperate with their crewed counterparts thanks to a suite of artificial intelligence-driven software-based control technologies. During a press conference yesterday, John Clark, Vice President of Lockheed Martin and General Manager of Skunk Works, gave a thorough overview of the flexible autonomy plan, internally referred to as Project Carrera. He said that from self-driving cars to helpful robotic assistants, the human-machine team is a potent duo that can help make life safer and more productive. Extend that dynamic to include a crew of numerous, dispersed autonomous systems cooperating with manned planes. In today's highly disputed and impermissible airspace, pilots must improve survivability and an information advantage to make more efficient decisions that ensure our troops remain ahead of new threats. With our $100 million investment in remote teaming technologies, we hope to not only provide these capabilities in the short, medium, and long terms, but also to improve them. The idea of man and machine working together is not new, but by expanding it into distributed teaming, we are aligning it with the complicated battle space of today. With dispersed teaming, pilots may boost the endurance of piloted platforms, expand the range of networked sensors, and enable data gathering, fusion, and distribution for tactical decision making. This is what is required right now, and Project Carrera is helping us to do it. Spanish's word for, race, Carrera, is used to emphasize speed. The joint all-domain operations concept of our customer is supported by Lockheed Martin's $100 million investment in teaming technology through Project Carrera. Project Carrera will use investments and cutting-edge technologies from across the enterprise and customer communities to fully explore what the ideal fifth-generation distributed teams can look like. Project Carrera will draw on nearly a decade of Lockheed Martin experience in distributed architecture efforts. Our strategy's cornerstone is teaming up inexpensive, modular uncrewed assets like Speedracer with survivable crewed platforms like the F-35. Project Carrera will include slowly introducing the JADO technology stack and experimentation, digital engineering, human-machine interfaces with autonomy and artificial intelligence, and more. It will also include staged demonstrations of capability enhancements in operational scenarios. Project Carrera will use 21st-century security techniques in its demonstrations as it establishes the best collaborative combat air teaming. Connected systems must transfer data between and across platforms with various data linkages and security environments in the network battle space of today. The systems in use today and tomorrow will be able to share information for a comprehensive view of the battle space, allowing pilots to make better decisions, faster. We are using open architectures to enable the quick and affordable integration of new capabilities for the warfighter at the tactical edge. And skilled fighter pilot who is able to fly multiple aircraft or even command such a contingent will naturally have a different understanding of how to cooperate with one or more uncrewed systems than a novice pilot, according to Clark. Therefore, future drone traditional aircraft collaboration must be flexible enough to take into account this and many other human characteristics. The head of Skunk Works explained that the company is really focusing on a systematic buildup where we can evaluate that human and uncrewed systems interaction, and understand how those procedures build up over time, such that we can build a system that adapts readily around. That flexible autonomy framework, the present strategy, he continued, consists of a number of phases that systematically work up with the underlying technology, and aid in, exploring how we integrate all of those things together. Clark emphasized that the initiative is more ambitious than merely demonstrating that drones and fighter jets can coexist in the same area. When playing chess, he advised against placing all of your pawns in the back row and leaving your king and queen exposed on the front row. Beating a near-peer foe is not as simple as just chasing fighters around. In order to either activate the enemy's integrated air defenses or to provide information that a fighter's onboard systems can't obtain naturally, you actually need to be able to push ahead of the planes. In these series of studies, he said, we exactly want to expose the underlying behaviors, the autonomy, 
the way in which the rest of the ecosystem works together, to understand how you would truly feel this type of capability. Frankly, we notice that this area isn't receiving as much attention as it should as we observe the rest of the surroundings. There are many people here that emphasize, look at my nice car. Project Carrera will feature Speed Racer prominently, but Lockheed also wants to show off additional aircraft and top-secret payloads. Speed Racer is currently made to be disposable, according to Clark, and is expected to cost, considerably less than $2 million each copy. But Lockheed is also investing in mid- and high-end drones that might be made available for the CCA program. Clark continued by saying that data from Skunk Works suggests that a focus on less expensive, extensible, air-launched drones could ease other operational and logistical strains. He made a point of highlighting how a game like Speed Racer doesn't need need runways or other substantial infrastructure, but any platform transporting it undoubtedly would. The U.S. military as a whole has emphasized concerns about the vulnerability of existing airfields and other infrastructure in potential future high-end conflicts against near-peer adversaries, such as China or Russia, and the need for new alternative and distributed basing concepts in those situations. Therefore, a more inventive method of using speed racers, especially when doing so in large numbers, looks likely to be needed. Clark claimed that Skunk Works has already discussed the possibility of utilizing the Rapid Dragon system now being developed for the Air Force with Lockheed Martin's missiles and fire control division. In its current configuration, Rapid Dragon is a palletized munitions system designed to enable the use of the AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, JASM, cruise missile and maybe other weapons by cargo aircraft like the C-17A Globemaster III or the C-130 Hercules. As previously said, Skunk Works intends to employ Project Carrera, and its initial phase in particular, to thoroughly investigate and improve a variety of potential collaborative crewed-uncrewed teaming concepts, as well as the technologies required to support them. Clark did mention that the project has already been discussed with representatives from the U.S. Air Force and Navy, and that American military aviators will be invited to provide feedback as work advances, even though this is all being portrayed primarily as an internal effort. In their independent but related next-generation air dominance NGAD, future air warfare programs, the Air Force and the Navy are both particularly interested in future crewed-uncrewed teaming. The Air Force has been quite open about its evolving intentions for creating and acquiring what it is presently referring to as collaborative combat aircraft, but the Navy has been more guarded in its public remarks regarding its NGAD activities CCA. Hope you guys love the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to all so you can get the notification on each upload.